Before we start setting up your skeleton streaming in Unreal Engine, we first need to place the OptiTrack plugin in your Unreal Engine's plugins folder. This folder is typically located under Program Files, Epic Games, your Unreal version number, Engine, Plugins. We now can start Unreal Engine and start setting up skeleton streaming. The first thing we need to do is create a blueprint of the character you wish to use. For this video, I will be using one of the free assets in the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Right-click the folder with your character, then select Animation, Animation Blueprint. Select both the OptiTrack Anim instance at the top and the skeleton name you wish to use at the bottom. Drag the character blueprint into the scene and then add the OptiTrack skeleton component to the model setting the source skeleton asset equal to the skeleton name stream through motive. Our next step is to configure the blueprint for skeleton streaming. Double click the animation blueprint to open its editor. Right click the animation graph then create a new OptiTrack skeleton. Then create get streaming client origin and get source skeleton asset name nodes in the graph. Then connect all of the graph nodes together. Select the OptiTrack Skeleton plugin in the Blueprints graph area. Then click Autofill Bone Mapping. Make sure to double check that this mapping is correct. After you're done, hit Compile in the top left corner to finish building the blueprint. The last step is to set up streaming. To do this, open up the 3D view, then search for OptiTrack Client Origin in the Modes pane. To configure streaming, just make sure that the mode of an Unreal streaming settings match. The last thing to do is press play while the skeleton data is streaming. As you can see, skeleton data from Motive will now be driving your character in Unreal Engine. As a note, you will get the best results if your character's bone model closely resembles that of the skeleton bone model in Motive. If it does not for some reason, you can make small adjustments to the skeleton model in Motive to help track it.